Alright guys, Raisha here one more time. Um, I swear this is the last one. Did I swear the last one was the last one? I might have sworn the last one was the last one. I guess you shouldn't believe me. Don't believe me. I'm a liar. Um, anyways, the doll I bought. <laughs> there she is! Oh. <laughs> The later it gets, the loopier I get. I'm d I'm I'm so out of it. Um this is uh, her name is Zelda. Um and she is a Dalmore um Zowl uh, muse, actually. Um they had this lovely gal on display not this they had a lovely Zowl on display. Uh, the limited edition pearl earring one with the big fancy floofy dress. Um, and I saw her in uh, in their room sales and oh, I just loved her. She was just so beautiful. Um, I'd been looking at Zowls for probably about a year. I'd been thinking about getting one and um, for some reason every time I was ready to um, decide on a doll, uh, I kept deciding against the Zowl for some reason or another and um, ended up getting somebody else. Um, so I kept going back and looking at them and kept not getting them. Um, but then I saw her in person uh, in the uh, Dalmore's room sales. Uh, and I was just smitten. Just smitten. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, but she was also expensive. Um, but I did have it in my mind that I was going to buy uh, at least one doll at Dollism, um, may maybe two or a doll and a head, um, which is what I ended up with, a doll and a head. Um, so I figured I will look around all, because this, this was like one of the very first room sales we were in even, um, and it hadn't even, the, it was Friday night, so the dealer room wasn't even open yet, so I hadn't seen any of the dealer's dolls, um, other than Dalmore, obviously, because we were in their room. Um, so uh, I told myself I would look, I would wait till we get into the vendor room, I would look at all of the dolls that were for sale, I would hit up more room sales, and if I didn't find any doll that I had to have, that I would come back and I would splurge on the beautiful Zowl. Um, so I did, I went around, didn't find anyone else, um, and then in the dealer room the next day, uh, there she was again, looking all stunning and beautiful again. Um, and the girl right in front of me bought one. And I was like, oh my god, no, she's buying her, she's buying her, I need her. Um, and they're like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, we have we have two more. They, um, they had two, uh, they brought three, they had two more of her, um, under their table wrapped up. So I was like, okay, great. The other girl bought one, and, um... So I knew there was the one on display and there was still one more under the table. So I'm like, okay, I need to go through the whole vendor room first. So went through the whole vendor room, didn't find anybody I need to have. So it's like, okay, I gotta have her. So I go back again to Dalmore's table and um, they still have the other one under the table. So I'm like, okay, great. Now I have to justify spending the money on her. Um, and then other people came up and started looking and go, oh, she's so pretty, she's so pretty. And I'm like, oh my god, somebody else is going to buy her. So I'm like, okay, I just got to do it. I got to do it. I got to buy her. Um, so yeah, I told them I wanted her and they pulled the last girl out from under the table. Um, she was all bundled up like a little mummy. Um, and they just pulled the, she was like wrapped in a blanket. So they pulled the corner of the blanket back um, to show me her face. She did have a, a bubble wrap around her head and a face um, protector on. Um, and they left all that on, just kind of pulled the thing back so I could see her face, and I was like, yep, that's her. Um, I took her and went on my merry way. Um, this whole time thinking I was getting a Zowl Love, um, the, the Love Sculpt, um, which is the one that was on display. Um, and I checked out, uh, online to see, you know, price-wise, um, you know, if I'd be better off just ordering uh, just a blank one online later, um, because the ones sold there were um, full sets. Um, so yeah, the the pearl earring 
um, Muse was a love, and the one on display was a love. And somehow, when I got back to my room and unwrapped her, I have a Muse. Um, this actually works great for me, because I've always preferred the Muse sculpt. And they didn't have any Muses on display. Um, they only had the love, otherwise I would have chosen the Muse. So, <laughs> um, it worked out for me. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if she is, because the, the pearl earring, um, set is a limited edition of 20, um, but it's the pearl earring love. So I'm not clear if my muse is one of those 20 limited edition. I don't know. I don't know if it's the doll or the outfit. It's probably the outfit that determines that I would imagine they, you know, probably have 20 of these full sets and you know, no matter, no matter what head sculpt was underneath, everything else was still the same. So, I don't know. So she came with this, um, full set outfit. I'm not going to bother taking it out. You can, um, check it out on Dalmore's website if you want. It's beautiful. Uh, it's just really not my style at all. Um, it's frilly and fluffy and lacy and, um, yeah, beautiful. Not my style. Um... So yeah, the first thing I did was take everything off and stick it in a bag. <laughs> so I probably should have just gotten the blank doll, but um, she was there, <laughs> you know, um, really hard to resist instant gratification and not having to wait and wait for your doll to be made and shipped to you. And um, so yeah, I saved, I didn't have to pay shipping um, and they actually... Uh, for the full set, she was like $40 cheaper in person than online. Um, so as long as I can sell off the full set outfit um, for a decent price, um, then I'm, I'm certainly not losing out by having not bought the blank one. So anyways, um, she did come with this face up, I'm, which I think is beautiful. I don't usually, I usually do my own face ups. Oh, well, I think you can see that. I usually do my own face-ups, um, but she was just so stunning. She just struck me. Um, I am gonna probably, uh, add to this one a little bit. Um, her eyebrows are not quite the right shade. Um, they're more yellowy. The, the default wig she came with is kind of a, more like a strawberry blonde. Um, so I'm gonna add a little more red to her brows, and I think I'm gonna give her just a touch of green eyeshadow. Um, and she's got these great little teeth. Now I keep the, it's a separate tooth piece, so you can change how they sit. And I keep tilting them back so you can see like the tooth line and, um, a little black under there. But the piece is like a little too large. So every time I push her plate, face plate back on, it pushes the teeth out of place again. It's driving me nuts. I did it like six times before I realized that's what was happening. I kept, I was like, ah. Her teeth are out of place again. Her teeth are out of place. Um, so, I mean, it looks fine like this, but I like it better where it's got a little, you know, line of black showing underneath. Um, so I think I'm just gonna, um, get in and mod that piece a little shorter because it's, um, rubbing on the top of her neck right now. Um, so yeah, when I snap her head in place, her neck bumps the toothpiece out. So, um... Yeah, ha got her full set off, and then um, that means she was naked and bald and eyeless. Uh, so I immediately had to shop for her, and since this was almost at the end of the con, I had um, already done pretty much all of my shopping. <laughs> and now I had to start shopping all over again. Um, but my uh, Sarah B. Heading had this wig, which now has a weird protrusion on the side for some reason. Um, it's stuck on her ear or something. Anyways, uh, Sarah B. Hitting had this wig, which I, she was trying to sell in room sales, and I just loved it. I tried it on a head that I was trying to sell on a, on a, a doll chateau Christine, and I'm like, oh my god, I love this wig, I need it. Um, but that would have been stupid, because I was trying to sell the Christina head. I'm like, I'm not gonna keep Christina just because I love this wig. That would be just silly. Um. 
but when I brought this girl in, she needed a wig. So I snagged that up. I don't know if you can really see the color accurately here. It is a bright red. Um, I was going to say it looks very orange on the camera, but I guess it is pretty orange. But anyways, it's beautiful. I love it. Um, I had a hard time finding her some eyes. I did end up finding some that I like a lot. Let's see if we can get them to catch the light here. Uh, they're green. Um, I would like a smaller pupil, but already these are gapping a little on the sides, so I really couldn't go any smaller without um, finding some custom eyes, uh, which I'll probably do. I'll probably go through uh, Capture a Glass and get some um, custom sized for her, but certainly for now, these will work. Um, I do like them a lot. Uh, so this is a shirt I picked up. Um, actually this is one I had picked up before I found her. Um, I just found it in a room sale and thought it was a beautiful shirt. I didn't know who was going to wear it, but I just loved the shirt and it was a good price. So I bought it. Um, and then a day later I bought a doll to wear it. <laughs> so that worked out well. <laughs> um, Hiding under here, she has, uh, if you watched my previous part of the haul video, I showed you the underwear set from Essie Dolls, um, and this was the other one. This is the one that she gave me for free. It's got little matching panties and everything under there. Super cute. Um, so she ran around in the bra and panties for a good half of the day. <laughs> um, and then I found these little shorts at Mint on Card. Uh, they're just regular SD size, and they're like a perfect fit. Um, shopping for clothes for her is going to be a little challenging. The uh, Zowl is a really in-between size. Um, she's 50 centimeters tall, so she's kind of bigger than an MSD, but smaller than an SD. Um, and also, uh, just her proportions. I mean, you could call her an MSD, but her proportions are... Like, her legs are really... Th she's thick. She's thick and sturdy, and more realistically proportioned than most dolls. So even though she's kind of an MSD height, she's more of an SD build. Um, so yeah, it'll be a challenge to learn what kind of sizes she wears. But in the meantime, she's got these super cute little shorts. Ten bucks for Menton Card. Great price. Um, yep, a nice little shirt. The shirt was a Delf shirt, I believe. Uh, and then I also picked her up a pair of cons at the mint from Mint on Card. Also, um, need to get her some socks. But um, yeah, that's her. This is uh, Zelda. I have named her. Uh, she's probably gonna be a bit of a hipster. Um, I think I'm gonna get her some little glasses and and I don't know what. Um. Well, I guess that's all I've got. That's all I've got. I actually finally made it through my... Oh, one more thing. Another pair of panties. Um, these came on her. <laughs> Doll more dolls come... Um, they all come with panties on. Uh, so, yeah, that was like the sixth pair of panties I picked up this weekend, so... <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you stuck with me through this whole... I don't know. This is video four. Fifteen minutes each. Oh my god, did I just talk for an hour. Uh, I can't imagine anyone actually watched all of these. But if you did... Thanks. <laughs> Bye.